What's going on, everybody? Second video of the day. I wanted to bring this to light. Um, before I hit what's going across the screen, did HGA just grade a fake autograph? I want to say thank you to everybody for your support to the channel. Also, thank you for subscribing, liking, making comments and everything, spreading the word about the channel. I truly do appreciate it. We're on our road to 4,000 subscribers. If you're new, hit that subscribe button if you like the content because there's various stuff from box openings to scam videos to stuff that I see, new company reviews, new product reviews. You name it, we're doing it this year. All right, enough of that. Let's get move on with this stuff here. I'm going to do a little bit of background, and we'll go, and I'll show this on the screen. There'll be a link in the description. You guys can go and read all the comments onto this stuff and everything else. So a couple, I don't know, was about four, three, four days ago, I posted a video about the fake autographs on Macari. That was just a given because we could find the actual card out there. We've seen it beforehand. Now all of a sudden it appears with an auto. And I know there was a lot of questions on, well, how is that a fake auto if it's on a Panini sticker? How are they doing that? Are they taking that off another Tom Brady auto or whoever auto and putting it on there? The answer is no. So what they're doing is they're finding, uh, you know, whatever company it is, Tops or Panini, they're finding a sticker on a low-value card, removing it, but before they remove it, they're taking the auto off. Now, I guess you could use an eraser or whatever, and it comes off. Hard to tell. They are then putting an autograph of the player they're going to stick that new sticker onto and make it as close as they can. And they're saying that's that person's auto. It's mostly been being used on printing plates, but now it's starting to be used on a lot of other cards too. So please be careful with what you buy. And now, you know, people are going to start questioning graded cards because this brings into where we're at today with HGA grading a 2018 Topps Finest Scion Printing Plate Auto of Tom Brady. Background of Topps Finest that year. The only thing that I know and I could find is that you had your rookie autos. And the only vet autos came out of a subset called, like, Finest Moments or something. So that knocks out any kind of printing plate autos for a vet. I don't ever remember seeing them from 2008 either. And a lot of other people have been in the hobby for a while or say, no, there were none. And so it starts making you think, like, did HGA just do this? Now, I am not an expert on grading autographs or nothing like that, nor am I claiming that HGA did, in fact, grade a fake Tom Brady autograph. My question to anybody on here is, what do you think? Uh, if you have experience onto this stuff and, you know, you have more information, you want to send it to me by email, I'll do a follow-up video onto it. But with that being said, let me pull this up real quick. The link to this will be in the description. So if you guys want to go in there and see it and click this hyperlink, it'll take you to the eBay account that has it and stuff. You can. You can look at it. All right, so this guy here is basically came out there, or this member, I should say, came out there and just said, you know, it's a fake auto, all this stuff onto it. They even sent a message to HGA's Facebook account, and I haven't seen anything posted saying that they responded back yet. You know what, let me refresh this, because this says yesterday, and this has been up on my account for a couple days. This was made the 25th, so there we go. It's fresh, 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 fresh. All right. So here's the card in question. There's the sticker down here. The other question is going to be, did Topps ever change their sticker around? Now, I did look at this autograph, and you got to know, Tom Brady has changed his autograph from his rookie season on. Expected to buy anybody that does autographs. I saw, like, his 2000 press pass and a bunch of others. Then I started finding some 2008 ones. This one was just a little bit different. To where, if I had to judge this, I would say this cannot be Tom Brady's auto. But I am no expert. But blowout forums has had people go on there who have detected the big uh, trim card scandal went on. The replacing patches and numbered card scams and all that other stuff. So it would not surprise me if this is 100% true. I'm leaning it's about 90-95% true because... 
unless Panini comes out there and says they didn't make it, it's really hard to tell. And it's not a buyback card because usually that has something on it where it shows it's been a buyback, like out of honors football. So pretty crazy on to it. We'll see if there's any more messages because, like I said, I haven't looked at this. A lot of information, you know, guys are, you know, of course, giving out the shame to HGA for doing it. And this here really is, is something he says all these new companies men are vulnerable to fake screw and experience. That's true. Not saying PSA hasn't made errors, but people are going to take advantage. A hundred percent true statement right there. If you're a new grading company, my advice to you is if you don't know if that's a real card, I would send somebody a thing saying you did research, you can't prove it, you're sorry, you can't grade it. Don't get caught up in this stuff. Uh, it, it takes a lot of looking and digging into to do this. So just be careful, uh, like I said, with anything you're buying nowadays. Oh, here it is. Unless I missed it, I don't see no... Then there's no audit. Like you said, no auto authentication on any of the finest. That's true. And he looked on eBay. Looks like rookie autos and that product outside... Okay, was the finest moment subset. I was correct. But it's a bad miss. Is it the end of the world? No, but it's a bad miss. It really is on to their behalf. You could read through these and it'll sit there and say all this stuff. I'm just trying to see... Nope, there's no nothing else after this from yesterday. Okay. I want to see if he, if he said anything ever responded back from HGA on to it. All right, so there's our card right there. Let's go to the printing plate itself. Original. Oh, I guess I got to click original listing. My bad. Nobody bought it, though, but still, I guess, up there. So there's our card in question. You can't blow up the pictures because it won't give you magnification. So as you guys can see, graded right there. There's our auto. And when you start looking at some of the other ones on to it, I don't know. I, I would question it as well, too. Back again, no sticker, no nothing on to it. Or nothing saying that they graded, you know, it's an authentic graded card, blah, 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 and all that. So, makes you wonder offhand, because I was trying to get this picture to where I could blow it up better, and I tried it on my computer because I was trying to see if I could match it to other Topps um, autographs, because I believe the sticker itself was their certification pretty much back then. But who would ever thought that people would be able to take an autograph off and then trace another one onto it back then? I mean, we're talking 2008 time frame. But if you guys know more onto this, or you're more experienced on the autographs and stuff like that, let me know in the comments section, because I'm always curious on this. Um. That's again, like this video was not to bring shame on HTA or anybody out there. It is a big question mark, though, overall. And there's just been a lot of talk with it. And just not when it was started in the blowout forums, but I've seen it pop up on multiple Facebook groups. There was some stuff on Twitter. I think it was Instagram. One of the two had some stuff on to it. And I just remember there were a ton of comments. You know, you always got the people out there, and you know, they're going to sit there and be like, oh, look, ATA sucks. They did this, this, and this. Well, again, we're not all perfect out there. But this, after already taking images off of somebody and everything else, it, it starts bringing into play, you know, is this a fake out there or not? And the reputation, you know, brings a little bit of uh, shame onto the company if it is, you know, indeed. Uh, a fake autograph that's out there. Just not good overall. I mean, they did grade the autograph a 9, just so everybody knows. Right up here, it's a 9. I mean, it wasn't 100% perfect, probably because of that break right here. But, I I don't know. It doesn't look right from what I've seen, but, you know, Tom Brady could have just been throwing stuff around and going to town, scribbling names that day. Because back then he was doing a little bit more autographs than he was, you know, current day on the stuff, too. All right, everybody. I appreciate you watching this. Let me know, like I said, in the comments section. What do you think on this situation? Is it a fake autograph? Um, from what I can tell so far exactly, there this card was not produced with an autograph onto it. Again, I can't give you the 100% guarantee onto it. I'm in the 90s onto it on that it did not come with an autograph. But I've been wrong in the past where somehow, someway, this thing was an autograph uh, out there. But 
with what's going on anymore makes you really question a lot of things it starts to make you wonder if i'm buying an autograph card that i don't know somebody actually pulled <laughs> is this thing a fake now you know you're starting to spend a lot of money on stuff and investing in four thousand dollars for this and it could be you know a fake not good at all all right again everybody thank you for watching the videos i'll catch you in the next one